everyone and welcome to The Sims Lore. Today we're looking at the incredibly creepy and suspicious Doe family from Midnight Hollow for this year's Halloween special. There are a lot of theories, references, and just good fun all around, so definitely get cozy, grab a spooky snack, a hot drink, and let's get straight into it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this if you enjoyed it. Alright, let's get into the video. Let's firstly start with a bit of background about the town of Midnight Hollow. It was first released on the Sims 3 store in 2013. It's described as a place where the sun never shines and has a vibrant community of eccentric sims where sims are free to be who they are. Midnight Hollow features many references to a lot of different stories, places, fictional characters and real people such as the Flynn family which is referencing the Baudelaire family from the book series A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. There is also references to Marilyn Manson, Psycho, Agatha Christie, Harry Potter, and more. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos, and if you're watching in the future, they're linked down below. The town also features the return of Olive Spectre from The Sims 2. Of course, canonically, she's much younger, and her son Nervous Subject is a toddler. I have a whole video on Olive, which I'll link down below if you haven't seen it. She introduces Midnight Hollow's backstory, it's rarely sunny in Midnight Hollow. Midnight Hollow's description reads, Explore a landscape where all you're really required to be is yourself. Under the subdued sky of Midnight Hollow, it's the residents who really shine. Eccentric townsfolk have taken a century-old Victorian town and made it a place they can call home. What life will you make in a town where creativity and individuality are at the center of it all? There are 25 pre-made sims with really interesting backgrounds, mysteries and references and are described as the outcasts of society. However, none of the pre-made sims have individual bios except the deceased ones. The town has a really creepy vibe to it. There is a red glow to some of the forests around town like this one here surrounding the cemetery and this one near Pawfold Place. There are two beaches, the Somber Beach and the Bizarre Beach, both looking incredibly cold, creepy and dark. Both beaches have tiny huts where sims can um, sit and chat in extremely close proximity. Next to both beaches is the remains of an abandoned railroad, perhaps taking visitors or tourists to the beach in times gone by. Midnight Hollow is a Victorian-style town. The architecture of many of the houses are Carpenter Gothic and American Revival Gothic. Unlike all the other residents of Midnight Hollow, the Doe family appear to be the most normal. Their family bio reads, Jane is the perfect housewife, from her neat hairstyle to her fashionable yet conservative dress. She's neat, nurturing, loves her kids, and can make a mean pot roast. Meanwhile, John is rising in the ranks at his corporate job. He feels successful in life and supported by his family. He works hard, but comes home in enough time to teach his kids a lesson or two about life and talk to his wife about her day. Nothing mysterious seems to be happening here, but didn't their house used to have a basement? Okay, so this is really creeping me out. We have to look at their house now and find that basement. Their house looks big and creepy with lots of hallways and paintings. There are four bedrooms, four bathrooms, living, kitchen and dining rooms, a back porch, but no basement. Like the bio says, they used to have a basement, but there's no evidence of it ever existing on the property. So what happened? Who are they? What secret are they hiding? There was an interview conducted by sim guru Tater Todd in 2013 with the Doe family for the release of Midnight Hollow. This is how it went. The Doe family appears to be the picture of perfection. Jane is the perfect housewife, John is rising in the ranks at his corporate job, and their children are respectful and accomplished. With a life this perfect, we can't help but wonder what it was that brought them to Midnight Hollow. What are they hiding behind their bright smiles? Good afternoon, Doe family. Thank you for letting us be here today. You have a lovely home. Well, that's all due to my wife, Jane, here. The light of my life keeps my home perfect and welcoming. Oh, John, you're making me blush. Aren't you guys precious? 
Let's start off with you telling me a little bit about yourselves. Would you like some more tea? Um, no, thank you. The cup you gave me just moments ago with the fresh baked scones is excellent. But there's nothing to tell, really. I'm living the dream and the corporate life, and I come home to a beautiful wife, a clean home, and excellent children. Well, it all seems pretty excellent. So tell me, what brought you to Midnight Hollow? It seems a little dark for your sunny family. Are you, are you sure you wouldn't like that tea? Uh, huh. You know, uh, just a change of uh, scenery. You never know where the winds will take you and all that. Right. So how about a tour of the house? You know, it's clear that Jane isn't feeling too well. I think it's time for you to go. So that definitely wasn't suspicious at all. Okay, so let's have a look at who the Doe family really are. The household is made up of five members, John and Jane Doe and their children, Teen Joseph, Child Jennifer, and Toddler James. Let's start with John Doe. John is an adult, working as a department head in the business career, and his lifetime wish is to become the CEO of a mega corporation. He is a workaholic, family-oriented, a perfectionist, a hopeless romantic, and ambitious. His favorites are electronica music, goopy carbonara, and the color aqua. John is highly skilled, having eight skill points in logic, three in painting, and five in cooking. He has a really high relationship with his wife Jane, and he's friends with all of his kids. Let's look at his wife Jane. She is an unemployed adult whose lifetime wish is to be the culinary librarian. She is family-oriented, a natural cook, neat, a perfectionist, and friendly. Jane's favorites are classical music, ratatouille, and the color yellow. She has a really good relationship with her husband and kids, and even though her lifetime wish is to become a culinary librarian, she has no skills to achieve this at the start of the game. Okay, now onto Joseph, the eldest son. He is a C high school student and is a genius, excitable, a bookworm, and athletic. Joseph's favorites are indie music, burgers, and the color aqua. He has a great relationship with his parents and siblings, and he also has a romantic interest in Maggie Flynn. He is incredibly skilled for a teen, having four skill points in logic, three in cooking, five in fishing, ten in gardening, and three in handiness. Joseph has a strange similarity to Ethan Bunch from Sunset Valley. They both have the same hair color, blue shirt and jacket, two personality traits, bookworm and genius, and two skills, logic and fishing, although Joseph is more skilled than Ethan. Let's look at Jennifer Doe. She's a C elementary school student and is neurotic, a bookworm, and a genius. Her favorites are pop music, cheesesteak, and the color hot pink. Jennifer has a good relationship with her entire family, and she has two skill points in painting and five in writing. Okay, now last but not least, Toddler James Doe. He is brave and friendly, and his favorites are kids music, pancakes, and the color lime. But wait a minute, there's actually another Doe family member. Jane Doe is pregnant with unborn baby Doe at the start of the game. This family really sticks out in the town of Midnight Hollow, full of creepy, weird, eccentric characters. The Doe's are the perfect family. Well dressed and groomed, they have perfect personality traits, and the husband John has a good career, and their kids are incredibly skilled. But something seems off. They just seem too perfect. So there's nothing here that helps us find anything about their secret or this basement that the bio mentions. So who is the Doe family, and why are they in Midnight Hollow? Let's get into some theories. Theory number one. The Doe's are a runaway family with fake identities. In real life, Jane and John Doe are names given to unidentified persons. People are given these names to protect or conceal their identity, or because their identity is unknown. What if the Doe family is hiding in a witness protection program? 
What if they've been given false names on a house in Midnight Hollow to escape from people who are after them? Another theory could be that they're on the run from the law. So are they criminals or are they victims? It seems unlikely that they're on the run from the law since all of them have good traits and none of them have any criminal aspirations unlike the Altos or the Bagleys who I did videos on which I'll link down below. It's more likely that they're in a witness protection program, however, even this isn't that solid since they would probably have a police officer acquaintance and there would be other clues pointing to this theory. Theory number two, aka the Stepford Wives theory. This theory is based on the 1975 film The Stepford Wives. The film follows the story of Joanna Eberhardt and her family moving to the suburb of Stepford, Connecticut. Her husband Walter is a lawyer and pushed the move on the family to get away from the big city. Joanna soon finds out that the women in Stepford have no other interest than serving their husbands by cleaning the home and grocery shopping. She befriends Bobby Markowy, who is just as passionate as her, and they try to organize a women's liberation meeting but fail due to the disinterest from the other wives. Joanna quickly finds out that all of the men, including her husband, are part of a men's association, and long story short, and spoilers here, but she ends up finding out that all of the men in Stepford exchange their wives for robots. When I was just going to give you coffee, when I was just going to give you coffee. When I was just going to give you coffee. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. I was just going to give you coffee. I was just going to give you coffee. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. There was a remake of this film, but let's not talk about that. In this theory, the idea is that John Doe created Jane Doe to be the perfect wife, and he may have gotten help from toy makers in Midnight Hollow. However, there are some holes in this theory. For one, Jane Doe has no skills whatsoever, especially nothing relating to being the perfect housewife. And also, if she were a robot, her pregnancy at the start of the game wouldn't make any sense. Theory number three, Jane Doe is a serial killer. Jane Doe could also be a reference to Jane Doe, the DC villain, who kills her victims and assumes their identities. Another reference could be about Josie Schuller from the comic Lady Killer and Beverly Stuffin from the 1994 film Serial Mom, both 1950 and 1960s housewives who are serial killers. However, this theory could be debunked as Sims 3 Jane Doe doesn't have any evil traits or mean behavior. So this theory personally doesn't make any sense, but it's definitely fun to look at. Also, all of the things I mentioned she might be based on are definitely worth the read or watch. Theory number four, the does are corpses. This theory is definitely the creepiest to think about. The names John and Jane Doe are often used for bodies whose identities are unknown, which makes me think of them as corpses. Obviously, in game they're not dead, but if that's what they identify as, who are we to judge? Theory number five, Joseph is a serial killer. This theory is based on several things. One, the interview conducted on the Sims 3 store community blog where Joseph storms out when his parents are asked why their family moved to Midnight Hollow. Something is definitely bothering him and the parents are clearly keeping his secret. Two, he is incredibly skilled and a genius, having a maxed out gardening skill plus a bunch of other useful skills to know if you are hiding your true serial killer identity. The Doe's family bio mentions a basement that used to be part of their house, however, it's not there when we take a closer look. Three, there is a ghost family living next door. The Salas family is a ghost family living right next door to the Doe's. There are no clues as to how the Salases died, all we know is that they passed away from electrocution, and as you all know, murder in The Sims isn't possible. But the mention of a basement that isn't there anymore makes me think that a ghost family living next door isn't just a coincidence. From this, I assume Joseph used his gardening skills to bury the Salas family under the house. Theory number six, Joseph is in fact Ethan Bunch. This theory is based on the eerie similarities between Joseph and Ethan Bunch. 
It's unknown whether these were a coincidence or done on purpose, but here are a few theories about this. The does are related to the bunches somehow. This is definitely possible and is not creepy at all, nor does it explain the does bio and weird interview, unless... The does tried to have a family for years and they ended up a bit crazy. There are cases of couples in real life who have kidnapped babies or toddlers because they couldn't have kids. So the does reconnected with distant relatives, the Bunch family, and had the idea to kidnap Ethan. So they changed their name, moved to Midnight Hollow, kept him in a basement to brainwash him, and once done, covered it all up. The only problem is that from time to time, Ethan starts remembering. This could definitely explain his outburst during the interview. Later on, John and Jane realize they could have children of their own. Again, this theory isn't fully fleshed out, because Ethan would have probably been a bit too old to kidnap. I think the Doe family is a blank canvas to add on whatever creepy or wacky backstory you might think of. I think the developers who made this family wanted to start us off with a creepy vibe that we can follow with a backstory of our own. Personally, I love the Ethan Bunch theory I came up with as it makes a lot of sense and it's just really creepy. If it's not that, I also think the developers are definitely pushing towards the fact that Joseph is hiding something, as the interview made him look pretty suspicious. A theory that I think is pretty solid as well is theory number 5, where Joseph, with the help of his family, killed the Salas household and buried them, as he has a really high gardening skill. Or the Ethan Bunch theory, where he was kidnapped from Sunset Valley by some estranged distant family member who couldn't have children. Alright guys, there you have it, lots of info on the Doe family. I'd love to know how you play with this family and your theories on what they might be hiding, so let me know in the comments below. I'd like to thank my patrons Olivia McSwain, Negative Dana, Papa Khan, Leo Thompson, Artsy Flashback, Nathan Lim, Caitlin Luigi, Nicole Dante, Mr. Netch, A Wild Kitty Cat, and Shanique. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. That's it for today's video, thank you all so much for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know your theories in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more Lauren updates. I'll see you in my next video, bye!